spring training baseball coming your way. It's the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. And now for Seattle, Jose Caballero. For Seattle, the second baseman, Jose Caballero. Here comes a pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Crone steps on the bag, one out in the top of the first. So digging in, Sam Haggerty. The wind and the pitch. That's the ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swung on, belted. Cronenworth going back on this one. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Swings through that one. One and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss as he was late. Two and two. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That one ripped. Rodriguez going back. Back some more. And off the base of the wall. And he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But... Now that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. So man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. In the air to left center, Pollock has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tags it second. Thought about third there, but throws on the brakes. Two away now. Batting four. The third baseman. Manny. Got him swinging. Top of the second, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Julio Rodriguez. Joe Musgrove on a pitch out of the pen here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Joe Musgrove. Julio Rodriguez, you're talking about one of the top young players in all of baseball, Chris. So talented, a rookie of the year, an all-star, and a silver slugger. And what I love about this kid is that he's all about the team. As much talent as he has, he could be focused on his individual numbers, but you can tell the way that he plays the game that they feed off of his energy. Next offering is foul back. And it's filled up. You know, what's interesting, Boog, is Joe took a trip to Antarctica in the 2022 offseason. And guess what? What? He threw the fastest pitch in the history of Antarctica. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Foul tip, but he hangs on for strike three. So here's Murphy now. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. No score here in the second. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner holds. Now move to first. Nope. Hanniger back in standing. Nope. 
That one hit to right. And that is the inning. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And here is Xander Bogarts. Two on now. Swing and a base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. The one two gets under and pops it up. Moore has a beat on it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. downstairs and it misses ball four here's the catcher Kyle Higashioka on the ground and it goes just foul well all eyes on the double play ball in this spot no better way to get out of this inning and a pitch and that's ball. outside Grounder might be two to second for one. And that's two. New inning getting started. Now it's the shortstop, Mark Mathias. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. In the dirt. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. You Darvish gets handed the rock out of the pen. And we all know about his slider. It's two. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Jose Caballero. He's 0 for 1. Darvish checks on the runner. Moore back in on a dive. Moore at first, one gone. He's going, he's the going, kick he's going. and the pitch. Runner Rebound. goes. Strike in there. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good. Back here at the ballpark, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jose Azokar. The one one. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Hauls it in for the out. Ha Sung Kim getting ready to hit, doubled in his first AB. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Brings it in, and there's two down. Now at the plate, Jake Cronenworth. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to France. That takes care of Cronenworth. And welcome back. Start of the fourth. And now Sam Haggerty. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound. Number 76. And a pitch. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Ken with the throw to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. 
struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Flight out to center. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And caught on the warning track. Logan Gilbert into the game. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Tatis waits. Bounce to the left side. And save. He busted it down the line for that infield single. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's Manny Machado now. Tatis runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. Tatis stands at second with no outs. Ground ball up the middle. On to France. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Xander Bogarts. Doubled his first time up. Xander Bogarts. Kicks and fires. Out to short, Matthias. But the go-ahead run comes in to score. And here is C.J. Crone. First time up was a pop-out. The 1-1. Swings through that one for strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now line drive that's a base hit out of the left center field around first and hustling for second not in time it's a double man those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever such a good feeling when you connect and it jumps off your bat like that you're thinking double at the very least put a great swing on it and man he will dives and he can't hang on no throw and they don't get the out Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. The one two. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now batting Mitch Hedinger. New arm out of the bullpen, Randy Vasquez. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. The 2-1. They say it went. 2-2. Bounced out to short. Fires over to Crone. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Oh, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. In the air left field. Cronenworth drops steps, heads back on it. Puts it away for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And the righty deals. Hard hit left side. Bogarts with the throw to first. And that is that. Marco Gonzalez gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Number seven, Marco Gonzalez. Check swing, but he went too far. Now one and two. 
Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. One for two. On the ground to short. Zips it to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. And now Jake Cronenworth. Oh, look at the stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mark Mathias. Now into the ball game on defense, Matt Carpenter. He takes over as the new first baseman. Now playing first. Number 13, Matt Carpenter. Also into the ball game, Taylor Colway. He'll be out in left field. Number 88, Taylor a new arm into the game the righty Nick Martinez well the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game some of them are just wired different so we'll see what he's got here and a pitch swing and a miss struck him out and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth Here's Dylan Moore. One down, base is empty. Good eye right oh. there. The 2 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Back to the top of the lineup. And up next for Seattle, Jose Caballero. And a 1-1. Swings through that. One and two is the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, number 33. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now batter, third base. Here's Manny Machado. Machado. He's going, he's going. Tatis runs. Center field. Rodriguez settles under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. And here comes Sander Bogarts. first. Tatis dives back in. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper put... Here comes the pitch. There goes the That's runner the from first. There's a ball. Oh. Safe in second and he easily steals the bag. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Pitch misses. Throw to third. Safe! In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Rodriguez settles under it. He's got it. Runner tags from third. The throws offline. He's saved. It's 2 0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. That one is absolutely belted. Rodriguez going back. Back some more. And it hits the base of the wall. And that's a two-out double. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong, balanced swing. And 
A fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out no, of that here. Missed. That's the ball. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. At the belt and fires. This one in the air right field. Hanniger sizing it up. And that ends the inning. Scott Service brings on a pinch hitter, Colton Wong. Jim Hill on a pitch here. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, these Mariners, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. He struck him out looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Pitch hitter coming on, J.P. Crawford. Trying to get something going for him with two away. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Gets it there in time, though. He keeps his composure, and they get the end. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Penn Murphy. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Kyle Higashioka. Now, so now a pitch hitter for the catcher, Luis Campusano. Luis Campusano. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. Here's a 1-1. Ripped on the ground a second. On to first. Up. Two up, two down. Here's the second baseman. Ha Sung Kim. One for three. On the ground, out to short. Tosses across the first. Out number three. Staying in the game on defense, Luis Campusano. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jay Groom. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Pitch misses inside. The count now two and two. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. The Mariners going with a pinch hitter. Jonathan Classe looking to start something with one gone. And a bunt towards third. Scoops it up barehanded. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. One gone, runner at first. Now it's Tom Murphy. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's... Over to Kim. Oh. One. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning. So remaining in the game defensively, Zapata. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Also entering the game, Jonathan Classe. He'll be out in left field. Matt Brash comes on now. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Ford. A flip to the pitcher covering. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He's a guy who does it all. The wind of the pitch. 
Going to count one and two. One, two. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. And obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Two outs. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for Seattle, Mark Mathias, Luis Garcia will take over here. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. That misses the zone. And a count to an one. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one away. The pitch to third. Now only one yeah. out remaining. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a payoff pitch. High in the air, out to right. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, a low-scoring ball game in this one. 2-0 game, few errors, pretty clean. That's